Yeah, I don't, I don't know why people are linking the two. But let me let me hear from Nabila Ramdani tonight, who's a French-born journalist who specialises in the Middle East. Hello, Nabila. Hello, good evening. And Steve Berry pointing out this has nothing to do with Formula One. Well, uh, it has everything to do with Formula One, and I think what this uh, sums up is the amorality of multi-million uh, pound business interests, because let's not forget that at the heart of all this is the fact that Formula One, yes, it is a sport, but it's also a seven billion pound industry, and the Bahraini royal family has a massive interest in it, and in fact, it is one of the major investors. So I think we should not lose sight of that. And the stakes uh, extremely high for the uh, Bahraini uh, royal family because uh, last year the 2011 race was cancelled because uh, protests were already uh, happening in the country and if according to Formula One rules you have in a, in a country two races cancelled um, two years in a row then you cannot be put back on the calendar and that's what uh, that's the risk that Bahrain is running at the moment. So it lost last year up to 200 million pound because of the protest and uh, of course you have you know a massive interest in having the race going ahead here and i have to say that it was very cynical to hear very uh, earlier on the bahraini government spokesman uh, underplaying the nature and indeed the scale of the crackdown we're not talking about you know gentle intimidation by security forces to contain uh, protesters or to intimidate them we are talking about a brutal repression when the demonstration started in February last year Saudi Arabia with the support of the United Arab Emirates sound, uh, sent up to 2,000 troops uh, in Bahrain and up until now we have uh, you know hundreds of people who have been killed uh, uh, 1,600 okay. It's not Bernie Eccleston's yeah. job to police the world and decide who are the good guys and who are the bad guys and the reality of this is that most of the Formula 1 teams are based in Britain, even Mercedes are based in Britain and if they can't race this weekend that's a big, big blow to British business, and I think a lot of people should remember that. And that's my criticism. Business interests should not come first before human lives. And when Bernie Eccleston is saying that the situation is quiet and peaceful in Bahrain, clearly he should, you know, uh, you know rephrase that based on the reality on the ground. We're talking about people This dying. is your reality, though. We're only getting your... It's very... No, it's no, no. On, it, well, it, yeah, we are. It, We're it, getting it, a one-sided uh, version well, of things. Well, in here. spite of the, uh, uh, you know, difficulty of reporting from Bahrain. We have reports from human rights organizations. There have been uh, teams on the ground who have been able to send well-documented reports about the level of casualties. You know, p detainees are systematically tortured and UN observers have been barred by Bahraini authorities. So if the Bahraini authorities are genuinely, you know, uh, going to be transparent about what's going so on in Bahrain, should we, Bahrain, should we, should should we cancel the in. Chinese Grand Prix and the United States Grand Prix? And, the, and is an Another country that this week Let has been in the news. Here's another country that's been in the news this week for being implicated in torture: the United Kingdom. Shall we ban the British Grand Prix as let, well? Let me tell you something. Uh, uh, the well, answer United the question. Kingdom, I'll tell you what. Why not? Let's hold, on, hold on. Hold on. Let's let's let her answer the question. The United Kingdom is a mature democracy, but it's also a democracy that has its flaws, undeniably so. But I doubt very much that if protests were organised in the UK to try and cancel a Grand Prix here, then David Cameron would send, you know troops, security forces to shoot at people, and that's the test for democracy. The point is, if people want a Grand Prix cancelled in the UK, they can go uh, out on the street and say so without risking their lives. And that's the major difference okay. here.